right, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about three things. I'm gonna make a quick video about letterheads, email templates, and email alerts. Now for an administrator, these are kind of your bread and butter. These are great things that you can do. They're easy and they make your organization look more professional and run more smoothly. But also this is something that an end user, a business user can do, or anyone who really knows even just a little bit of HTML or is willing to learn can set up a really nice letterhead or a really nice template uh, and like I said, kind of boost the professionalism of that organization. So I'm gonna show you how to get these set up. Um, no more introduction needed, let's just get started. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and log into Salesforce. Now within my quick search, I'm gonna look up letterhead and I'll click on letterheads. Now this little diagram shows you exactly what a letterhead is. It basically lets you define a logo and a footer that go outside of your main email body. So I'll click next and I'll create a new letterhead using that button. Now make sure that I check available for use. Uh, I'll give it a name and I'll give it even a little description so that I know how to find it. And I'm gonna save it and this is the little letterhead editor. Now basically we can change colors, line styles, um, and some of the different positioning. So I'll go ahead and I'll make some changes to make it look the way I want it to look, uh, which is just sort of a simple black and white theme. And once I've actually gone ahead and done that, what I can do is within the header and footer properties, I'll make sure that it's gonna center my logo and my footer. And then what I need to do is I need to actually select my logo and my footer. So I have those uploaded to my personal documents within Salesforce. Um, I did that beforehand, it's really easy to do. There's a documents tab and I'll just go ahead and select those two things. And now that I've created that, I'm gonna preview it. So here's what it looks like. And this blank space in the middle is where my actual email body will go. So I'll go ahead and close that and I'll save this and my letterhead is done. All right, now let's move on to creating an email template that leverages that letterhead we just created. So I'll click on email templates there on the left and I'll click that button for new template. Now I'm gonna select HTML and you can see it says using a letterhead to the right. I'll click next. And now I need to go through and I need to fill out these options. I'll make it available for use. I will make sure to give it a name, and then I'll actually select that letterhead I already created. I'll select a layout. Now I'm gonna select freeform because I just want one big blank body, but if you click view email layout options there, you can see some of the different options that Salesforce gives you. Again, I'm just gonna choose freeform. All right, I've done that, and um, I'll give it a little description here as well. All right, I'll click next, and once I'm here, what I can do actually is I can insert a merge field. Now a merge field is gonna let me reference a field on one of the objects that I'm using. So since I'm gonna send this to leads, I basically wanna say hello and then lead plus their first name. And so I'll generate that merge field and then that'll basically give me a value that I can paste into this email and then it'll replace that value with whatever their first name is given the record that I'm sending it to. So on top of that, I'll give it a subject and I will give it a body. I'll just say something like, I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for joining, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'll give it a little signature and we'll call it good. Just a really simple email template welcoming them. All right, so I'll go ahead and click next. Now I need to make a text body. Now I'm just gonna copy. I'm gonna use that button to copy the text from the HTML version. Some people might not um, have an HTML email client or they might not be able to receive an HTML email, so this will just generate a plain text version. All right, so once I've done that, the last thing I need to do is I need to create an email alert. So I'll click on alerts, and I'll create a new email alert, and I'll again select that object lead, and I'll select that template that I just made. So now, the only thing I need to do is I need to choose the recipient. So I'm gonna search email field, I'm gonna add that email field, and I'm gonna save it. So we've gone through this process a couple times in a couple different videos. But basically I've created a new email alert that uses that template we created. All right, last but not least, now that I have that alert set up, I wanna use it within a workflow rule. So I'm gonna search workflow and I'm gonna click on workflow rules. And we've actually done this process before in some other videos. Um, I'm gonna click new rule, create a new rule. I'll select my object, obviously lead, uh, just like all the other objects we've selected. And I'll give it a name and I will actually just evaluate this when we create a record. Now, if I don't put in any criteria, it'll throw an error. So I'm just gonna put in a basic criteria that the email field is not equal to a blank value. And basically I'll just leave that value field blank. Now I'll click save and next. 
And now I need to just add an existing action. So I'll select an existing action. And from that little search box, I'll select email alert. And there's the email alert I've already created. So I'll add that to the selected actions. We'll save. And there we go. I'll click done and I'll activate it. And our workflow should be firing. So if I go back to that email alert and I refresh, I'll actually see that workflow rule I just created right there that's using this email alert. And I have a link to our email template. It's using the template we created. And I have a link to our letterhead. The template's using the letterhead we created. All right, so there we go. That was it. Um, pretty easy to do, pretty easy to set up, but as you can tell, it goes a long ways. Now, me as an administrator uh, and a developer, I'm constantly getting requests to add different email alerts, either internally or externally to the customer, um, create new templates, new letterheads, things like that. Now, these are things that are easy, quick to set up, and one thing that I really like to do is I like to teach my different users how to do it for themselves so that anytime they need to make a change to a template or create a new template, they can do it really easily. So I hope this video helps you, uh, no matter if you're an administrator, developer, or business user. I hope you can get some value out of it. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. I'll make sure to get back to you. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.